Hey, good night, everybody. It is Debbie Mead, and it is time for dinner with Debbie. It's Tuesday night. Sorry, I am coming to you so late tonight, but there was a lot of things going on this evening that delayed me. But don't worry, tonight's recipe is super quick and super delicious, and it's actually really healthy. So you may remember a few weeks ago, I hinted at the fact that I had just had some, I had a, um, uh, physical at the doctor's office and they of course did my blood work and it seems that my cholesterol is a little bit high so I'm trying I'm going to be incorporating a lot more Mediterranean diet into my diet so that I don't have to go on to cholesterol medication Blech. not I'm really bad at remembering to take medication so it's not a good idea so um, tonight's recipes are coming from this book, um, Cooking Light, Complete Meals in Minutes. It's actually one of my favorite um, cookbooks. And this one in particular is super um, quick and healthy and has all those Mediterranean flavors that, you're lo that you'll love. So I'm gonna start us off tonight by telling you what I'm drinking, because um, that's probably not on the Mediterranean diet, but it sorta is. Hey James, how are you? Hey Tammy, how are you? Um, don't worry, all of the recipes will be on um, the comments when this video gets posted later, either tomorrow or the next day. But um, since we're having Mediterranean cod with spinach and onion couscous, I opted for a Sauvignon Blanc. And this is the um, 2022 Sauvignon Blanc Reserve from Stone Tower Winery. And I know a lot of times when you hear Sauvignon Blanc, you're thinking New Zealand, you're thinking grassy, you're thinking high acid. But I have to tell you that this Sauvignon Blanc is nothing like that. Um, it is uh, done more in the style of a Bordeaux, um, a French Bordeaux um, uh, Sauvignon Blanc. It's actually more along the lines of this region in Bordeaux, which is called Pessac Lignon. And I'm not sure if I said that exactly right, but I think it's close enough. Um, but I can tell you it's got beautiful stone fruit. It doesn't have like that grassy thing, but it is, you know, it's got some, um, there's a little bit more richness to it. Um, obviously still a Sauvignon Blanc, just done more in the French style than the New Zealand style. And i um, actually a really big fan. And you can see I am drinking it. This probably looks um, like a champagne glass or a sparkling glass, but it's actually um, from the Riedel collection. This is a Sauvignon Blanc glass. And what I love about it is that this shape, this narrow part of it, puts the um, wine on your tongue really in a good spot for you to really enjoy all the flavors. So let me give it a shot. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm. That's really good. Really, really good. So I've done a little bit of prep work already. I'm going to have to put my glasses on because I'm going to have to refer to the recipe a little bit. So um, what we start off with is I have some lovely cod. I've portioned it up. I actually got like a big piece of cod. And you could probably do this with halibut or another big firm white fish, but it, you know, it was calling for cod, so I got cod. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is put together this, it's almost like a tapenade um, uh, to put on top of it. And that I prepared already. So I have, um, two tablespoons of chopped parsley. I'm putting that into a bowl. Um, I have, they call for four halves of sun-dried tomato in um, oil um, chopped up. So I have that. And then it also calls for six, you know, just six, um, Kalamata olives, pitted, of course, and I've chopped them up. But I, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I put more than six because I love olives. I love the saltiness of them. I love the brine. Um, and I'm dumping this all in a bowl. And what I have here in this little bowl is um, the oil, some of the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm going to take about a teaspoon of it. And I'm going to pour it in here. 
just a little bit. And then I'm going to mix it up. And then this just sits aside. Hey, Janet. I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early. <laughs> so I'm just mixing this up and it's really, it smells great. And this will make a really nice topping on top of our cod. And I know I'm kind of jumping ahead here, but I can't wait to show you the couscous part of it. Because if you've not had couscous before, um, you're going to be a convert. You definitely need to try it. Um, couscous is a tiny little, um, it's, a, it's a pasta, believe it or not. And it's just really tiny. And so it cooks really, really quickly. Um, and making it the way I'm going to show you how to make it, you're going to, your mind's going to be blown. Because it's so quick and so easy. So, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So, um I'm also trying out some new fry pans because I've been looking for some good non-stick um, pans to cook in since um, my old ones kind of like given up the ghost, so to speak. So tonight I am trying, I got a Williams Sonoma 12 inch um, skillet and it's the ceramic coated kind. So far I've tried it a few times and I've really, really liked it. Um, I think you do need to be, you know, mindful of how to take care of it. They are telling you don't put it in the dishwasher, hand wash it, which is fine with me because I hand wash my um, pots and pans anyway. So that was not a big deal for me. So um, giving this a try, um, so far so good. I like it. Um, what I've been reading about the ceramic coated is that that ceramic coating can wear off um it, you know, kind of quickly. So I think probably time will tell, but so far I really like the pan and it came with a glass lid cover and all of that. So, um, so before I get started with that, I'm going to take these cod pieces that I have already portioned out and we're going to salt and pepper them. And of course I've talked about this before. If you have somebody in your house that is sensitive to salt, don't salt so much but I do recommend putting some salt on them. And then of course the pepper. And right now this is all like the um, plump side up, skin side down, although there is no skin on this. These are skinless. So um, let me turn the camera a little bit so you can see. Moving over, here's the pan. And I actually decided to get this little doodad here. This is like a screen that you can put over top of your, um, it's like a splatter screen. And this one is also odor um, reducing as well, which when I'm cooking fish, that might be a good idea. So I'm going back to that oil that I got from the sun-dried tomatoes. So this will be about um, uh, a tablespoon that I'm putting into the pan. And I'm gonna heat that up. The other thing with these ceramic coated um, pans is that they're saying you don't have to heat your pan up so high. Um, so because they distribute the heat so well and retain it. So while the directions call for medium um, high heat, I'm gonna put this on a medium and just let this heat up. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is. Um, with the with the cod, we're only going to be like sautéing this in this pan for like three or four minutes per side. So that's going to come together pretty quick. Let me show you really quickly how this um, couscous comes together. First, believe it or not, I'm going to be doing it in the microwave, which kind of when I first read the directions on this, it kind of blew my mind. So I have this covered baker. It's actually Pyrex. I like it because it fits in the microwave and it already has a lid. What the directions are calling for is that you use some sort of baker and put a saran wrap over it or some sort of plastic wrap over it. And I really don't want to put plastic wrap in the, in the microwave. So I'm, I like this container because it has a glass lid that fits. So what I'm going to do is I have three quarters of a cup of water. And then I also have a good quarter cup of finely chopped red onion. And I chopped this up really well. 
And again, I like seasoning, so I put in a little bit more. And I'm just gonna make sure that this is distributed. Now, I have made this before where I've actually taken the onions and um, sauteed them in a little bit of oil first to kind of get them to cook a little bit before this, but it works perfectly well to just put them in raw. And then basically what I'm gonna do is just take the lid on this. Let me see, do I have to put salt and pepper in here? Sorry, my eye is itching me. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, I put a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna put it in the microwave for like two minutes. This is just water, salt, and the chopped up um, red onions. And I'm gonna microwave that for how long? Two minutes. So here, I'll take you with me. Rotate around. There's my microwave. Simple as that. So, two minutes in there. And then once that's out after the two minutes, all I have to do is throw in a half a cup of couscous and six ounces of baby spinach that I roughly chopped up. So I'll show you that. But in the meantime, my pan here has gotten going here. So I'm gonna take my fish and I'm gonna put it in the pan. Again. And I may not be able to do all this fish in one. I think I'm going to be able to do three pieces in this pan. And I will tell you, it's so nonstick that I'm able to like actually move the fish around. So I'll be cooking the fish in two batches, but I won't make you guys watch the second batch. And I'll go ahead and put my splatter screen on. I have noticed that it does make cleaning up afterwards a little bit easier. That I don't have like everything splattered all over. And just give a quick rinse in my hands here. And I need to grab my tongs. They're in the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Or actually, I think I'll use my fish flipper to get that out. So the microwave just went off. Let me grab that. Now it smells pretty oniony in here. I'm going to take the lid off. And six ounces of baby spinach is like a bag of baby spinach. You can see here I've kind of chopped it up just loosely. It's not like anything special. I'm throwing it in. And I know this looks like a ton of spinach, but believe me, it, um, it shrinks. And then I'm just going to take my half a cup of couscous and I'm throwing it on top. And I know this seems crazy. Look at it. It seems crazy that this is going to come together, but it comes together every single time. So I'm going to take my spoon and just kind of work it in. just so it's a little bit mixed. I'm gonna put my lid back on and then it's going back in the microwave for another two minutes. 
I mean, really, how easy is that? I mean, not only it's quick, it's good for you, it tastes good. I mean, it really can't get any better. So I'm going to check my fish. Mm, flipping them over. I'll show you the color, but they're nice and golden. See? So I flip them. I'm going to put the splatter screen back on. And I'll check them in another three-ish minutes. So I'll know when the couscous is done that I'll be able to be checking this shortly afterwards. And then it really comes together really quickly after that. So I think this is a great time for another sip. So, yeah, so plating this is really simple. Once you get the couscous out, you put that. Oh, I think I'm back. <laughs> Sorry if I'm having some connectivity problems, but plating this is really simple. So you just get a plate. The first thing that will go on will be the couscous and spinach. Um, when this comes out, which is only a few seconds away, you'll see how beautiful this is. Uh, and then the fish will go on there, and then we'll put our tapenade on top, and then, you know, that's it. Done. So actually, uh, let me grab my pot holders because I don't want to burn my hands and the couscous is ready I'm going to take off the lid I'm going to take my spoon and kind of work it in. You can use a fork to kind of fluff it. And you'll, let me show you how the um, spinach has really, hey Cindy, um, the spinach has really kind of, I won't say melted, but it's wilted down. And the couscous quick, um, goes so quickly, and it just kind of comes together. I mean, it's really just so quick. So you get your vegetable and your starch all in one side. Whoop. Just dump something in there. Um, so that is looking good. You put the lid on that. Just let it steam a little bit more while I take a look at this fish. And I will say, this non-stick is working really, really well. And they always tell you that tripods messed up um, they always tell you that you can tell when fish is done when it flakes easily and I can tell by the way when I flip this that the fleek gets flaking apart so it is definitely ready let me show you so it looks nice and golden and since it was kind of cooked in the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes it actually got a little bit of flavoring too so let me plate one up and you can see what it looks like So I'm going to start with our spinach and couscous. You know, if I was making this again, I think I might put garlic in the spinach and couscous along with the onions, but you know, I like that kind of stuff. So then I'm going to grab a piece of fish and put that on. 
And then I'm going to top it with the tapenade that we made earlier. And remember that is sun-dried tomatoes, black olives, and parsley with a little bit of the oil that was in the sun-dried tomatoes. And what I like about this meal is that it, you know, one of the things I like about this meal is that it's so colorful. And I think that when it looks pretty, you definitely want to eat it. See? So, how easy is that? So, again, I invite you guys to try this. I'd love for you to um, get some feedback on it. Um, I think it's a great dish. Mark really likes it. I'm going to take a little bite. Oh, need a fork. So, here's my little bite. I'm going to try to get everything all in one forkful. Yum. Mmm, that's good. You know what? Cooking it this way in this pan, you get like the lightest little crust on the on the fish fillet, and then you add the flavors of the sun-dried tomato and the olives. Mmm, and the couscous is really good. But next time I'm adding garlic. <laughs> All right, so. I really hope that you guys give this a try. The recipe will be on the comments when this video gets posted to my Facebook later. Um, or if you want to go check out this and any of my other recipes, you can head over to my uh, YouTube channel where I have a whole playlist of all my recipes. So my YouTube channel is um, Debbie Me and Realtor. So I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you next week.